Yo. Yo. Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Javery on here, back here again for another video. Today, Madden released their classic franchise updates. So, you know how they had a whole reveal of the gameplay trailer and stuff like that? Um, <laughs> this is what they do for franchise mode, and this is why us franchise players really hate playing this game. Uh, my dog Flimlo tweeted out saying, bruh, laugh my ass off. These are passion notes, not features. This feels like a practical joke, bro. I'm like, for real, there's got to be another stream or something announces that actual feature upgrades, right? And that's what I'm saying, bro, because this literally looks like a patch note. That's what it looks like. It says Madden NFL 21 Classic Franchise Updates. The new X Factors make their way into franchise mode. More details on X Factors and Madden 21 coming soon. So we're getting new we're getting new X factors. Okay, franchise has expanded wild card playoff round to match the real life NFL, which now features three games for each conference instead of two. Okay, that was going to be a given. Updated all rookie contracts to be more authentic to the actual draft rookies. Wait, the, to the actual draft rookie contracts for all seven rounds. Okay, that's that should that shouldn't be an announcement. That should be already in there. Retuned every position's available abilities to better consider in-game effectiveness of the ability and archetype authenticity. Also made the second ability unlocked for most positions 85 overall was 80 overall matter 20. I mean, okay, that's that's good, but like why is that being shown? That should be this is literally like a like you should just patch this in, like how you patched in fifth year options. You should, this should have just been patched in. So then it says fixed multiplications and logic of players considered for a, a dev trait upgrade at the end of the season, not checking the correct stat types. That right there, that literally makes it seem like it's a patch update. Like, why are you telling us this? Why is this a feature? Why are you saying this big thing? Updates to all team back in depth. What? Updates to all team back in depth chart philosophy so they match the team scheme the hell is that i guess they're gonna have long snappers now um okay what bro added position specific offense alignment architect progression buckets for ot offensive tackles offensive guards and centers to capture variance and over overall formulas based on positional expectation previously all o-line were pulling from the same progression bucket are they going to be able to get upgrades at, at the end of the season? Because offensive linemen, whatever trait they had, that's what they were stuck at. They couldn't get, they couldn't go from a normal to star to a star to a superstar and X factor. So offensive linemen are going to get better progression. That's good, but it's not something you should talk about. Like, what are you doing? This This literally just shows that you're not listening to us. And then it fixed the issue where defensive playbooks and schemes for our fictional coaches would be misaligned. 3-4 playbook with a 4-3 Bro, what? What are you doing? EA, what the hell is this, bro? Like, I'm, I'm dead ass right now. What are you talking about? I just woke up. That's why I was missing saying some of these words. But I'm looking at this like, yo, y'all trolling right now? Because um, this, this bet not be in the game. This bet not be what we have in Madden 21. If this the only update, bro, you going to lose everyone, bro. We're, we're literally going to stop playing this game. When 2K makes that football game next year, no one's going to be playing Madden, bro. Like, you're going to have the Mutt guys. The Mutt guys don't even like the game like that. So, it's like, y'all about to lose. 2K, all it takes is 2K or, like, another big company to make a football game yeah we had some other people trying to make some football games they had some hype and stuff like that but if 2k partners with like those smaller studios like oh uh, the one i don't even know i forgot it was joe montana foot not joe montana football it was something like maximum football if they partner with them and like get their in-depth like franchise slash dynasty it's over madden y'all Yo, I know y'all just signed the new contract, but they might terminate that shit. I hope they do. Because this right here is unacceptable, bro. We haven't had updates to Madden franchise mode since Madden 13. 25, actually. But ever since you guys went to this connected 
career mode thing, CCM, it went down here. Madden 12 was literally the last Madden that you could, like, have every single feature in there. I think the only feature they didn't have was fifth-year options for rookies. But you could restructure contracts. You could get st different stadium uh, sponsorships for your stadium. You could create a team on there and not have to just relocate a team. You could have old players who retire be your coaches. This is unacceptable. And this is like, hey, guys, thanks for buying Madden 21. Uh, since we're going into the next generation, we're not going to do anything to it. And that's what I told you guys in my last video containing, pertaining Madden. Madden 06 was probably the worst Madden of all time. Madden 21 about to be number two or number one. Because right now, no one ain't messing with it. But anyways, y'all, I want to know y'all uh, thoughts on this, bro. I'm not I'm not vibing with this, dog. Yeah, you got to do better. You got to do better. Anyways, it's me, boy, Javering. Remember to like, comment, also subscribe. Uh, share this post around if you guys want. And if you guys did not know, I also do be streaming on Twitch and on Facebook. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Javrian. Facebook.com slash Javrian. Hey, show some love. Um, but this right here is trash. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace.